Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Pen Positive. This is Vinod Narayan. Today I bring you a book that I recently finished reading, The Practice by Seth Godin. So, before we get into the book or rather before I start talking about the book, if you want to look at podcasts, I have a podcast Pen Positive Outclass. You can check that on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts. I do a daily podcast. It's more like a a journal of an active learner. Every day, every day I learn something, and at the end of the week, I try to kind of collate all those things together in a in one solo rant podcast. And at the end of it, I read a poem. So try to take a look at that podcast. It's called Pen Positive Outclass. and do subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed yet so the book uh, seth godin's book i've read uh, tribes i've read i think the first book that i read was probably purple cow then i've read tribes dip linchpin so these are the books that i've read and i i i used to read his uh, blog posts regularly lately i've not been able to do that but uh, so whenever i read his blog posts and i've tried many times to try writing like that so having this daily uh, blog posts and uh, but i do a daily podcast uh, separately a short podcast every day i've been doing that for about 3 4 months but i'm really amazed at the way he articulates what he wants to say so this book if you look at it, it's about 260 pages covered uh, it's got it's got about 219 220 snippets just like how his uh, blog posts are if you read them but everything that is that has a thread of the practice how do you ship creative work i took more time to read this book than i normally take reading books and i think that's because these are the, all these small snippets and you read that then you have to think a bit you cannot just jump into the other the, to the next paragraph or the next next tip snippet because this there's, there's so much packed into that two paragraph that he writes that you read that then you need to take a pause you need to think about uh, some of the things that he has told and try to see okay how do we look at it from our work from the way we practice things when the from the way we look at or we expect outcomes to happen how do we look at this whole thing so i think i think that's why it probably took me more time to read the read the book than usual it's not a it's not a very tough read it's a very easy read but it uh, it makes you think i i think it made me think about 219 times 220 times because every every snippet makes you makes you think but i want to talk about a few other things like uh, so he has these different sections uh, and one of the section is called uh, trust yourself and we all know we need to trust ourselves but this whole idea of trusting the process because you don't have a lot of control on the outcome and trusting this process and practicing on that tweaking it making it better and making it efficient i think that's uh, that's an interesting thing i got, got i mean i can't say what i got from each of those snippets but uh, one of the things that i got from that section is that generous is another section which is uh, which is a which is this whole idea for me at least what i got is that uh, we have to be generous see we live in a world where we are all very different we think differently we act differently we have different dreams we all have different journeys but but we meet and we travel together at times and it's important for us to be generous with each other we all have different process we all are going to have different outcomes our process might interconnect at times and uh, i think being generous is very very important at least when we work with other people when we work with teams intent intent is so so important so i always keep telling people that it's very important to know what our intent is when we do something when we consume content if you're going to if you're watching this video for example you need to have an intent why are you watching this what do you expect to get out of this and i should also i should have an intent when i when i make this video 
And let's let's look at what is my intent in making this video. Let's just take a look at it. So I read this book. So whenever I make a video of the book, and I finished reading this book about one week back, and I don't do a review of the book and I don't talk about the book immediately. I keep the book for about a week and then, then see if I'm making a video, what comes to my mind. That's what I would be able to kind of store within my... And some of, some of the things that I read probably would come into... I, I'll be able to recollect it when the time comes, but at least I take this one week and try try the ideas to settle in my mind. So that's my intent. When I do a video about a book, the intention is that I am able to reproduce what I read and probably for a longer duration, I'll be able to remember what I learned from the book and use it in my conversations or where I talk to people. And this is important if you're using social media, if you are consuming content, be that a book or be that a blog post or a video or audio, what what is your intent? And that's just for consumption or content consumption. But even in work, any process that you do, what is your intent? What are you expecting out of it? Then I think uh, those were the those were the major topics that I wanted to kind of go through. Oh yeah, there was another one called uh, the professional. Who is a professional? And um, one of the things that I've learned very early in my career, someone told me that a professional is someone who does a job like uh, that person's life depends on it. And that's very important because when we when we do a work and after the work is done, someone comes over there and they know that there is something that has happened that has made a positive change. Maybe in that environment, maybe with what work you did. I think that's what it means to be a professional. The mark of a professional is always there when the work is completed. It is done. And this is an interesting book. You should read it. Practice. I think practice is a very important aspect. I always think, I used to I used to make these videos with a script and then I decided to do it without script. I don't do any edits. I think that's because I keep doing these videos and I said, okay, right, I'm not. My intent is that I don't want to do edits in my videos. So I have to make sure that I can make it engaging and I don't, I'm not claiming that this is engaging, but at least this saves me a lot of time not editing. And only when I read this book, did I, I mean, was I able to kind of connect what is said in this book and to some of the practices, some of the rituals that I've been doing to make videos. And sometimes the outcomes are good, but at least now if I want to make a video, it's not a long process. I finished reading this book. I have the time to think about it after a week. So today I didn't have any idea of planning uh, I, I didn't. I didn't plan to make a video. What I did was that I. Uh, I thought, okay, I need to return this book next week, so I need to make a video about the book. So I said, I went ahead and I. In fact, I have a. I was just wearing a T-shirt and sitting here, and I put a shirt on top of it and put a cap because the hair. I've not. I mean, it's it's all see. So, so I put this and I said, okay, right, let's let's go ahead and make the video. So that's that's all that is needed. I could have taken a lot of time dressing up and make, being presentable for the video and everything. But everyone knows you work at work from your home now. It doesn't matter. Most of the people, I mean, if the people watching the video are not dressed up to watch the video, then why should I be dressed up to make the video or talk in the video? So I don't know if that's a, that's a right way to do it, but at least for me, that saves a lot of time that I can potentially use to read other books or think or converse and talk to someone. You take care. Please subscribe to the channel if you like. I'll come again with another book or something else that I want to talk about. Every week is when I come up with a, with a video. So be content, be pen positive, stay safe, and please, please, be kind. Thank you.